SWLA Mech 84 again here and I just completed my roller steady rest modifications project and that turned out pretty good I'm probably gonna need some help once I get started on the actual turning of my tube here I went through and, and set it up and, and tried to tried to turn the tube here a little bit just to see if I could actually cut and I got some pretty good finish here but uh, not with my carbide bits so I'm kind of thinking about changing my material selection for my suppressor tube this is the DOM tubing so it's probably 1018 the ASTM, ASTM 513 tubing and it, it seems to be pretty sticky it, it doesn't seem to turn very well the only way I got a good finish is with a very very sharp high speed tool bit and any kind of nose radius on there was making it stick and chatter pretty bad I couldn't use my big um, carbide insert I tried using that and it just chatters so bad I can't do anything with it as soon as I slap in a high speed tool bit a high speed steel bit it actually cuts but it's I don't know if you can see the finish if it'll focus or not but you know I can catch my fingernail in here and there'll be a lot of sanding to make that look better so I, I may end up going with like a stainless steel or something like that I have some various round stainless but I have solid round I don't want to have to put that hole in there but anyway the next operation I want to try to do on this to even see if it's worth doing I need to bore this this pipe out because this is DOM tubing drawn over mandrel and it's electronics res electronic resistance welded there is an actual seam and it's just been drawn cold worked over a mandrel and I need to get a nice smooth concentric bore it's pretty smooth bore in there right now but I don't know if it's concentric and that seam would mess me up from my suppressor internals so I need, and I'd like to take a little bit out of here, get a little bit bigger ID, and then, you know, eventually, if I can get it to turn right, I'd like to get, to cut some off my ID. I ordered some pretty thick tubes, so I'd have plenty of room to, to put some threads, so I can thread some caps on and everything. But, I'm going to have to, I want to try to make a pass with the boring bar inside of there, to see if it'll actually work. And this is the boring bar I'm going to use. I got this 14 inch inch and a quarter boring bar off of eBay for 99 cents. I was the last one. I jumped in at the very last second. And it's one of these styles here. I've never used one of these tool styles. Hopefully it'll work all right. I got a pack of inserts very cheap for it as well. But I don't have a tool holder for it. That's my issue. And me being as cheap as I am, and since I already have some nice heavy round stock with a 1.24 hole in the center, I'm going to go ahead and try to make one, a tool holder for this boring bar. And it's just going to simply slip in there all the way through. I'm not even going to cut down the length. I'll just face it on both sides. That's what I had on the shelf and I don't want to have to mess with it. I'm going to bore it out a little bit so that I can get it to slip through and put some quarter by 20 bolt heads in here. And then I'm going to mill a boss onto the side so that it'll fit into my tool holder. And I got plenty of meat there to fully fill up my tool holder and still have a lot of extra material there. And that'll mount right on my tool holder and accept my boring bar. And I've already faced this off just because it was really bad. When I faced it, I didn't have it dialed in. I just wanted to clean the surface up. <clears throat> so now, I need to go in here. I've dialed this, this bore is pretty important because it's already one, two, four. It's really close. And if I didn't dial it in fairly well, I would end up taking too much just to clean it up. And there's a good possibility that it won't clean up but as long as I can get that boring bar to slide through there very nicely and get most of the ID in there clean then I'll be happy with it because I'll put four bolts across the top here and that'll jam it down to the bottom arc and it should be okay this boring bar has some flats on the top and the bottom I don't know if you'll be able to see that see this flat there's a flat on the top and the bottom for those bolts to hit on and it'll it'll jam this remaining 
arc into that bottom half circle on that, that bore. And I went ahead and, and dialed in that rough inside. And I've got within three, three to five thousandths, I believe, just using my steric indicator here. And it's really rough and pitted. It was sitting outside on a pallet for a long time at a place I do some work for and they gave it to me for free, so I'm not gonna complain. But I got it dialed in there and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean up that surface on the inside. Let me get set up and then I'll start rolling again. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit off the outside of this thing just to clean it up. Face it to the bore here. Now I'm going to spin it around, go ahead and catch a chamfer so I don't cut myself on this thing. See if I can get to the other side of it there. Nice clean chamfer on there so I don't cut myself. And now I got a nice clean align that OD to line up next time. And now I have to get this bore cleaned up. I don't have a whole lot of boring tools. I don't do a whole lot, but I need to get some more. All I mainly have are the inserts for like a criterion boring bar like this and I just tried to to use that on this one and it, it didn't do very well. Give it another shot though. I have this other boring bar that was given to me and it uses a fairly small single point tool but I didn't have much luck with it either I even sharpened it so I guess when I go back inside I'm gonna be on eBay looking for some boring bars and especially for this material I'm gonna have to look up the MTRs I got the MTRs for all this material I believe and I'm going to have to see what it was because it turns very well with those carbide inserts. So I may have to be getting me a little boring bar on the way here. Just so I can build the holder for the bigger boring bar. By that time, I should have just bought the big boring bar holder. But what's the fun in that? Plus the my wife doesn't uh, oppose as easily a bunch of small purchases instead of a big purchase so it works out better for me that way and i'm sure she's going to watch this but 
Love you, babe. Okay, let's see if I can get a better camera angle on that. Okay, let's see what this does. Switch my feed direction. Get my light shining in the hole there. Okay. And that's gonna hit the tripod. Okay, that one. Just kind of playing with it to see what this thing does. I'm gonna, if I have to, I'll cut some off of here. I just want to make sure that this boring bar is actually gonna work. And it looks like it'll work for the most part. All right, I'm gonna switch chucks to my three jaw because I have this in the four jaw, so I can dial the bore in a little better. And now I have this outside surface that I can grab onto with my three jaw. So I'm gonna switch out to my three jaw and I'll be back shortly. Okay, well I decided to get another piece off the shelf. The one that I had turned down. That bore was just so bad from that other boring bore that I tried that I didn't want to try to use it. I can use that for something else. And I have another happen to have another billet exactly like that. And I've got my indicator set up here in my four jaw, and I'm gonna try to get this bore running as true as possible. So I'm gonna watch for my highs here. Let's see. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna talk throughout this whole process, that way I can speed it up on the video. All right, that's within five thousandths there. And I'm gonna call that good. So I'm gonna start cleaning this thing up. Hopefully I won't mess it up like the other one. Okay, first I'm gonna go ahead and face off. Actually, first I'm gonna go ahead and turn. I'm just gonna clean the OD up on this. Now I'm gonna face that face on with a different camera angle. I got a little bit that didn't clean up there, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, now I'm going to try to get a, a bore going in there.
just to see. Okay, still pretty, still pretty close. Now I'm gonna adjust my feeds a little. Want a little finer feed. some locking bolts in there and that thing won't move at all. all right. I'm going to put my carbide back on, flip it around and get a chamfer on there. All right, let's see if it'll let me put that inside. Yeah. that. 